So I was talking to a young man, I hear this a lot. Young people now are saying, you know, I can never buy a home and they're discouraged and they're angry and disappointed. And you know what, I don't blame them. It was our generation, generations before us that ruined it all. And, um, and they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. I've said for a long time, the new generation are better than, better than our generation. Some people may not be, uh, some of the old people might not disagree to that, but the new generation, the pure, uh, you know, smart, a bit helpless, the place and position where uh, they can't accomplish much. So I always ask me, how do, how do a young person does it? Well, the, the key is that you always need to look at two things when it comes to finances. What is your monetary energy? What's your monetary uh, velocity? What it really means is that Basically, if your monetary energy is, uh, so I don't know, 50 grand a year, and then the lifestyle that you want is $100,000 a year, but obviously your energy is not going to do it. If, you, if you, the best job you can get doesn't cover the, the, the energy that uh, that be required, then if your best job you can get is 100000 a year, but the lifestyle you want is 200000 a year, well, you can't do it in a job. It's that simple. you got to understand that. So what do you do? You have to subsidize that energy with other types of energy. Maybe it's a part-time job. Maybe it's another business. Maybe it's a, uh, some type of investment. You now I know this stuff not easy to do, but the best part, I said the easiest part, is to start a home-based business. Why? Because it's something that you can do on the side while you have a job. Also, when it comes to some company like Opulence, you are not building based on your uh, monetary energy you're working on as a group because when you build a team of customers and, and distributors uh, they all bring that energy and you are leveraging that energy and that's why now you can live not off of just your monetary energy but a group it's called a leverage business this is why we have multi-millionaires in the business this is why we have issued checks over hundred thousand dollars in one month to people because it's not their monetary energy it is a complete monetary energy of the entire organization that could maybe took years to build but at least that's one way sure way to be able to do it another thing is the monetary velocity if you're trading time that means the speed in where the money uh, uh, transacts it goes from someone else to you for you to someone else if you have you know you're working say in the job right and your monetary velocity is basically what you can produce in one hour. It's very slow, very slow, small amount of money for one hour. Obviously, the velocity of the money of exchange is very, very slow. Um, if you are in a traditional business, it's faster because you could have 10 customers coming at one time. You could be serving 25 customers in a day. Well, in that case, your monetary velocity is actually um, a lot quicker because it's 20 you know, it's multiple people that are bringing in money to you for your service or product. Again, this is why I love the comp uh, our business Opulence because in our business, uh, we have uh, 19 years old. We got people that wake up uh, are, and our ranking members wake up and they have literally have dozens, if not hundreds of transactions that are taking place in their back office, in their email without them even waking up. Our company as a whole at 4.30 in the morning, we have hundreds of orders processed before anyone's even at the office. When our people come to the office, the order's already there, it's charged everything, and then we process it. That's true not just for us as a company, that's true for all our distributors, or what we call email operators, where the customers, they go to the website, they place the orders, or distributors in the organization, they place the orders, everything is processed by multi-million dollar software, and then uh, we process all the orders and, and on Tuesdays and commissions go out and the $15 bonuses go out and so forth. So again, when somebody says, you know, how do me in this day and age be able to create a lifestyle that you have or, you know, that my dad had or somebody else had? Um, well, two things. You know, you got to assess your monetary energy. How much, you know, uh, is your ability to generate first on the lifestyle that you want? And the monetary velocity. How fast can you generate that? You know, if it's just you doing it in a job, exchanging time for money, well, it's going to be difficult to do that. Hopefully, that helps you out if you're young and thinking of, well, I'm going to buy a house. Well, you know, it's going to be difficult to do 
if you're holding a job, I mean, there are some people that maybe land a big job, but for, for the masses, that's not possible. So well, I highly recommend that you consider two things I just told you, because you must. It's quantum physics. It's not according to what it means, quantum physics. And the laws are the laws. And you have to be able to match those two sequences. If you don't do that, it's going to be like, this is where we have the 95%, right? Who don't do that. And then, of course, they live where they live. And they do what they do, the struggles that they have. You know, I've been there multiple times and, you know, pretty much every millionaire would be bankrupt one to two times, 1.2 times. That means more than once. This is the actual averages for the millionaires. People go through that. It comes down to, again, you're understanding what you need, what you want, and these two elements, and then find a vehicle to get you there. Hope that helps you out.